I think the cost of the program should be allocated equitably. I believe that uh, the Public Utilities Commission staff have uh, pretty clear instructions about uh, ring fencing the cost of the program and ensuring that only those who are participating in the program uh, are paying for those uh, costs and receiving the tangible benefits. Uh, I think there are still questions around some of the uh, existing uh, uh, vintage portfolio that will be used for uh, sales on day one, um, but that's a small price to pay in terms of uh, ensuring that the program can get started at the outset. Well, I think that's a wait and see. It depends on uh, how big this program can actually get. At this, at this stage, 600 megawatts is uh, probably enough uh, over the next four years to demonstrate program success or not and justify heading back to the legislature for an additional allocation of uh, uh, maybe 1,000 extra megawatts. At that point, if we're seeing uh, significant uh, benefits such as uh, uh, depressing the, the volatility of gas prices in California or of uh, electricity prices and keeping those spikes down, that might be something that we want to explore. But uh, as far as the, the, the intangible benefits, cleaner air and reduced uh, need for uh, uh, carbon credits on the uh, carbon market, I don't think that's something that those uh, non-participants need to cover. Yeah, I think uh, the, the smaller developers have a uh, market that's been carved out for them in terms of the, the one megawatt systems. Uh, those those uh, systems that are located in the uh, uh, economically disadvantaged areas in California are areas that uh, I don't typically see a lot of uh, larger scale developers participating in. And so that's a nice uh, opportunity for, for those developers. Um, there will be probably the challenge of uh, interconnection at the transmission level that uh, a sub one megawatt customer um, might find or, or developer might find a challenge with. However, if they're interconnecting at the distribution level, uh, there are uh, fast track mechanisms to make that pretty easy. Well, that's a really good question. I think, uh, first of all, distributed energy needs to be defined, and in these terms, I'm imagining. Uh, projects that might fit under the uh, format of SB43, so 20 megawatt and smaller projects located within the state of California uh, on either transmission or distribution lines, but uh, wide geographic diversity of the location of those projects versus specifically on the distribution system or specifically behind the meter. So taking that definition, I think that uh, really utilities need to be shown the way. They need to be shown that their customers are interested in other products. Uh, I think they've already been shown that with regards to behind the meter, uh, behind the meter self generation and uh, are working to try to figure out how to participate in that uh, marketplace and uh, some more successfully than others certainly. In this state, in California, the, the uh, larger projects that are at uh, I should say wholesale projects are much more familiar to utilities and to the extent that they can be uh, offered as a product to customers with the appropriate uh, benefits go that go along with it such as a, uh, a fixed price over the long term acting as a price hedge, perhaps even a uh, uh, economic uh, benefit from day one, lower cost from day one. Uh, I think they'll see broad uptake and uh, that will lead them to try to offer more products similar to that to their customers. At this point, uh, our, our plans in the solar space are to continue to try to provide uh, uh, sust a sustainable path for uh, the energy transition that uh, we see in front of us in uh, California and the United States and the world as a whole and do that in a low cost manner. Uh, this program and our participation in it is really dependent upon uh, how the final decision shapes out at the Public Utilities Commission. Uh, there are lots of opportunities in California and it's all a matter of uh, where's the smartest place to put your development effort and uh, I hope it's here and uh, we'll see how the Commission ends up deciding on things.